Yeah, sorry, let me repeat. So expected gain is equal to expected returns minus cost because there's a cost of 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 playing this game, which is R dollars or more in a single receipt. Yeah. yeah. So let's say if uh, I spend forty dollars, then I get multiplier of four, so I get hundred sixty dollars. But let's say if yeah. I go Xing Xiong, right, then I bought hundred dollars worth of stuff. So did I really win hundred sixty dollars? No, right, because I only no. win in my expected gain was sixty dollars only. I understand what you mean. Can I? Okay, okay. So that one is just to give to give you heads up. Because okay. I have no idea how, how this question will progress. Because when I see these R dollars, it leads me, my brain registers that there is a, there was there, there are similar question setups that are like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, I need you to register that also. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. Carrying on. Okay. So for part one, uh, two part one, they say tabulate the probability distribution of X. So we need to know what is X first. Okay. So the questions already say that X is what? The amount won is the amount won. Yeah. Okay, X is amount one. So we have to know we have to know right what is the amount that we can win. Right? Yeah. Considering all the different multipliers. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh the the more organized structure will be to draw a oh, come on. To draw a table. Okay. Okay, not a very nice table, but. Okay, so here we have $10. Yeah. We have $20. We have $40. Yeah. We have 1 times 1 times 2 and times 4. $10 times 1 is $10. Okay. 20. 40. <clears throat> oh, I, I understand what you are doing already. Yes. Okay, I think I can do the first question. Okay. <clears throat> so so like, I, I just put in the distribution table, I put the, I put as 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, then I just... 10, 20, 40. <coughs> yes. Oh, so yes. I put my P big X equals to small X. And I, that's my table. Yes. Can you show me first? Uh, can you show me? You, because we were definitely, I'm pretty sure right, they asked us to show this part one, right? It's for uh, us to use in part two. Right? Uh, Joe, can you like give me space that I draw? Oh, you don't do here. You don't do on your paper. You do on your paper. Okay, you do on paper, do on paper on. better. Anyway, you need to present it right, on paper. Then I take a photo and send me that. Then I drag it on the screen. I get you. Yeah, it's better. So do you think I finished by 2.30? Can I? Can I? Because can. I, at 2.30, I got the cam to your, your friend. Oh, okay, okay. Can. Should be, should be okay. So, 10 is... Wait, actually, give me a while. Can, can, can. Give me a while. I will on the fan first, damn hot. <laughs> I sent you, uh. While you're solving, I'll look at part two. I'm saying already. Oh, so fast, ah? Okay. And then drop up there, right? Yeah. I don't know how to fill in for the second box. The, the, P, the probability, I just fill in probability. Okay, yes, correct. So, hey, yo, dude. Yeah. This part, uh, this is x. This is px equals to x. Oh, the first All these are probability, uh. what? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, it's sorry, x. Sorry. x is the amount one, what, right? I already mentioned. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. It's okay, don't need, don't need to don't need to apologize. It's okay. Okay, I understand. Okay, I understand, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's look at the second question. Okay. ABC market wishes to make a profit of forty per of forty percent. Okay. Forty yeah. percent on all purchases made by customers. 
Yeah. Uh, it wishes to use the profit generated means, okay, it's it's going to be R dollars or more, right? So, yeah. you want to make a profit of 40%, uh, wishes, wishes to use profit generated from every qualifying receipt to offset, to offset the amounts given away in the game. Determine the value of R dollars that supermarket ABC have to set to play the game. Okay. Give your answer correct to the nearest dollar. Okay. Uh, wishes to offset. Determine the value of R that the supermarket needs to set. Okay, so we know that the expected gain, the expected gain equals to expected returns minus cost. Yeah. Okay, so the cost of playing is, the cost of playing is R dollars. Yeah. But now we have to look in a perspective of the, we have to look in, in the perspective of uh, the supermarket. Because now the cost here, the cost here will be the, the, the amount given, of, the amount won by customer. Yeah, okay. Agree? Yeah. Yeah, because if I'm a consumer, if I'm a consumer, the cost, the, my cost will be the receipt, la, the R dollar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So um the expected returns. Oh, let me think. Uh. <sighs> Determine the value of R dollars that the supermarket needs to set for a customer to qualify to play the game. You want to make a profit of 40% on all purchases. So the supermarket expected gain must be zero. He want it to be zero point four R. Okay. Okay. The cost is the amount won by the customer, which is the expectation of um whatever that you found just now, which is the expectation of X. Okay. Okay. So the expected returns. It should be R, right? Because the customer is going to spend R dollar. The R dollar minus the cost is going to get you 0 0.4 R. Uh huh. Yeah, correct. So I just calculated EX is equal to 0 0.6 R. Yeah. I will, have, I will interpret it this way. Uh. But we need to check the answer. This one, this, 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 this question, the I don't quite understand the phrasing also because it's R dollars or more. They, if anything, they should put make a profit, uh, make makes a profit of at least forty percent. Oh, Chai, I forgot how to press my calculator to get the expectation. Uh, you just times everything together. Oh, I just times. Uh. Yeah, I mean you can plot the table also, but uh, that will take a while also. Anyways. You want to plot the table, you have to key in all the values also, so might as well. Okay, okay. Give me a while. Yeah, I can, no problem. You, you read the next part first. Can. Oh, next part is not so difficult. Next give, part is give me a while. Yeah, can, can, can. Just that I don't know whether part 2 is correct or not. Expected game. Okay, 
I, I don't have the answer key. Oh, you don't have the answer key, but you have the so you have the answer, no? Don't have. I don't have. Okay, but from what I interpret, right, it should be this lah. Then you just have you have to find expectation of x, then you can from here you can find what is r. Okay, sure. Yeah. Then for part three, right? Okay. For part three, you have to find the sigma. Sigma is what? Sigma is basically equals to square root of variance x. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to find variance x. You know how to find variance x? Okay. You you can use your GC to find so by plotting into the table. How do I do that? And teach me second what I press. Uh I think it's under some list or something. I don't have a GC. You wait, uh, I go and see whether I can get, find a GC here. Oh yeah, I can, I can. Yo. Yeah, I I, I found it. Oh, okay. Uh forty four point zero. Okay. Then after that, once you found that value, right? Yeah. Then you hit the hands part, right? It's basically probability of X also, lesser than sigma, right? You bring over yeah. to the other side. Eh? Oh, oh then from here you can just find you, right? I use what? Uh by norm. Mm. Because yes, by norm. By norm. You know, also, you can say that X follows by normal distribution. Uh eh? no, cannot I eh? cannot use by norm. Probability of X lesser than Oh no 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 no. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Cannot use by norm because they never tell you that. They never tell you that. And the, there's only one number of trial. Uh what's the what's the answer? Probability of X equals what? Uh, 44 point what? Zero. Or oh, 44 point zero. Yeah. So from, from, from your graph here, from your table here, you see it's 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, right? Yeah. So x lesser than 44, what, what are the values? You have $10, you have $20, and you have $40. Yeah, yeah, so you are going to add, you're going to add all the values there. X also, it's like 1 over 9 plus 2 over 9 plus 3 over 9. Yes. That's it. Uh? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is lesson 44. Huh? Okay, let's go to the next question. Yeah. Okay, next question I haven't seen yet. Huh? So, let's hope that 
it's, it will treat us well. Okay. Uh, part one, don't need. Uh. Part one, don't need. F-I-S-T, right? Remember I told you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, all right. let me read the question first. Uh, okay, uh, manufactured power bank on average 8% is defective. Uh, 8% 8 defective means uh, probability is, probability is 0 .0 0.08, right? The probability yeah. of being defective. Okay, so the company sells power banks to the retailers in boxes containing 10 power banks. So we know that this one could be N really. This one could be P, right? Probability of success. Yeah. Yeah. The pro the, but in this case, the probability of success is a bit ironic. It's a, it's to be successfully defective. Okay. Okay. The retailer decides to buy five boxes of power banks. Okay, five boxes of power banks, how many? There are 50, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But there are 10 in each box. Yeah, okay. Okay, find the probability that three of these boxes contain no defective power bank. Okay, and the remaining boxes each contains at least two defective power banks. Okay. Okay, so firstly, we need to find what's the probability of one box having no defective power bank first. Yeah. Okay. So we need to define what is X first. Okay. X will equals to what? The, the number, number of, power of bank. effective power bank. No. We, it's the number of uh, boxes. Uh, sorry. The number of the number of yeah, you're right, you're right. Sorry, sorry. The number of defective power banks in each box. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So from here we need to find the distribution. Step one was to define. Step two, define distribution. X follows by number distribution. Number of power total number of power banks in, in one is ten, right? Yeah. Then probability of it being successfully yeah. defective. Yeah. Very good. So we need to find probability of X equals to zero. Why? Because they say no defective power bank. Okay. We need to find this probability first. Using your GC, you should be able to find. Using what? Binom? Binom PDF. Binom PDF. Perfect. Then after that, we need to find the probability of the remaining boxes containing at least two defective power banks. The answer is 0 0.434. Uh, exact? Uh? Yeah. Okay. Then you need to find probability of X at least two, right? At least two means greater or equals to two. So I must do one minus x, uh, a probability of x less or equals to one. Good. So I use CDF. Huh? Uh, yes. So I the x value I put as one lah. The x value you put as one. Yes, correct. Uh, zero point one eight Okay, so right now there are three. There are three no defects, and there are there are two that are at least two defective, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have like zero zero zero, and this is at least two. At least two. Okay, but we don't know which of it is at least two or which of it is zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we need to use five, choose three. Okay, we need to choose the three that are that are defective. Ah, uh, three that are not defective. Oh, sorry, we need to choose three that are not defective. Okay, then we use zero point four, three four. Yeah. Cube times zero point one eight eight. 
square. Also, is used. Also, it's just just use the formula. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can. Okay. okay. Whether you use five choose three or I choose five choose two, two is the same, because yeah. five choose three is ten. Five choose two is also ten. I get you. Okay. Can. So don't need to worry. So because some students want to ask, hey, uh, should I choose the the non-defective one or the defective one. Okay, understand. it's the same thing. Okay, I can. Okay, next part. Hey, Chuck, uh, I, you want me to text your friend first? Okay, okay. I text, I text. Okay, okay. Text him ready. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I can get it now. Okay. Okay, is it okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, a retailer was told oh. by the seller that he had handed over to him more than more than one box, okay? With no defective power bank since he's a frequent customer. Wow, okay. Yeah. Find the probability that fewer than three boxes contain no defective power bank. Uh, handed over to him more than one box. Find the probability that there are fewer. Okay, this is a conditional prop question. Wow. Why? Cool. Okay. Because they give him a condition in the first place. It's like, I'm the retailer. Oh, you're, yeah, you're the buyer. I say, hey, Hila, you know what? No? Because you always oh. buy from me. So right, I tell you uh, of the five boxes, right? You know, I give you more than one box uh, that is lesser than one. Uh, I give you more than one box that has no defective one. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, you will say, hmm, what's the probability uh, that fewer than three boxes have no defective? But you are given a condition that, okay, so probability. So now you want to find a probability that fewer, fewer than three boxes, no defects. Given yeah. more than one, no defects. Okay, yeah. so the according to the conditional prop formula, if you remember, a given b will be equals to what? Probability of a intersect Choose, b. Yeah, b over yes. the probability of b. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay, so the top part will be less than three boxes. No defects. Intersect. More than one. No defects. Over. Probability of more than one. No defects. Okay. okay. So. Um. In that case, means I want to find more than one no defects and less than three boxes no defects means what? Means I want to find two boxes only. Uh. The intersection will be two boxes no defects, alright? Oh yeah, what? 
Yeah, it's, it's always like that. You have to understand what is the gray area. Over probability of more than one node effects. Also, the probability of more than one, oh, so I'm just going to calculate it out right now. Yeah. But probability of more than one node effects is the one minus probability of zero. Eh? Yes. Eh, no, 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 equal or less, yeah, just equal Equals, to zero. Yeah, pro yeah, correct, you're right. So I, the, the, at the bottom is P equals to X equals to zero. Yeah, X equals zero. Then the first one, how to calculate? Probability of two boxes, no defects means what? Just now we found, right? We found P X equals to two, right? Uh, equals to zero, right? Yeah. Two boxes, no defects. If it's two boxes, no defects means uh, the rest got defects. Uh, how? Two boxes, wait up. Uh, at least two boxes, no defects. It's not at least, uh, it's exactly two boxes, no defects. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Right. See, I'm reading the part two. Oh. I see whether it's there a link or not. So we need to find two defects. We need to find two no defects and the rest have more than one node effects. Yeah. Also, I, I just put two boxes, no defects means three boxes got defects. So my on top one is P equals to three, right? P equals to three. Yeah, you because you, you already deduced that there's two boxes with no, exactly two boxes with no defects. And the retailer decides to, to buy five. Oh, that means he doesn't sell the guy five. Uh. He sold the guy five. He sold the guy five. Yeah, the retailer. The five. A retail, hey, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. So, this P, the on top is P equals to three, right? A retailer was told by the seller P equals. Was told by the seller. You mean, mean PX equals. No, no, no. Now, now, our X is what? Our X is number of defective uh, uh, no, in each box. You may look at the first line. The first line above part two says a retailer decides to buy five boxes of power banks, which applies to part two and three. So, that yeah, means correct, correct. A, Exactly two boxes with no defects. That means there's exactly three boxes with defects. Huh? Correct. So the on top is P equals to three. X How? equals to three. But why is X? X? The number of ones with defects, right? No. Oh, it's in each box. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Unless, so right now, so right now, because of what you said, right? Okay. So now, right, in order to execute what you said, right, you need to redefine the random variable now. Because yeah. just now, I was very confused when you said P equal, P, PX equals 3 is, 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 oh, is not going to work that way. Yeah, it's not, it's wrong. Yeah, you have to redefine the random variable because now you want to talk about box now. Your, your yeah. random variable switch to box already, not number of defectives in each box. Okay. One, yeah, so now, okay, let's, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. What? This, this three marks are not done. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Damn. But it's okay, it's okay. We still want it, right? Mm. Yep. Okay. So uh so now we want to define y la, okay? Let y be the number of uh boxes with no defects. Okay. Okay. So we know that y will follow binomial distribution. Total number of boxes is five. So what's the probability of a box having no defects, which is equals to PX equals zero, right? Yeah. Yeah, which you have found it in just now in part one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what it is, but never mind. Yeah, I think you can put it in. Yeah, okay. Okay. So now I want to find the probability, this top part here, sorry, let me... Uh, this top part here yeah. is equals to PX equals zero. Uh, actually, sorry, sorry, it's not PX equals 0. It's equals to PY equals to 2. PY equals to 2. Okay. Okay. Here we now, right? So we will yeah, have... Then, then at the bottom is what? The bottom is the same. Huh? Yeah, bottom is still the same. Probability of... Hey, uh, no, no. Bottom one, you have to change also. More than one, no defects. 
So you have to find prop uh wait, let me erase. So probability of y more than one. Yeah, which is equals to probability, so it equals to one minus probability of y equals to zero. Yeah. Correct. Okay? Yeah. Can I? Okay, understand. Okay, let's move on. You are damn sick, eh? I realize. Why? Um, I mean, over the years, I teach different students before. Oh. But, uh, your your ability to take in information is um is is very scary. Sure, if it's scary, then I don't need tuition. Maybe. No, no. As the the thing is, as long as you are point you are pointed in the right direction, right? You 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 take in very quickly. Oh. Yeah, I I've so far I only seen like maybe one or two other students who are like that only. Yeah, but I mean it's, it it is a compliment. It is a compliment. Thank you. Okay. Okay, the company wishes to repack the power banks into large containers. Each of these large containers contains n power banks. Okay, so now we have an unknown. So I'm thinking they want us to find this unknown, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, find the largest value of n. Okay. So most likely it's like a inequality. Really. So this is tells me that it's an inequality. Such that the probability of having no fewer than three defective power banks in a large container is less than 0 0.9. Okay, that is English. Okay, we need to put it into math. Okay, the probability of having no fewer than three defective in a large container. So we want to find the probability of having no fewer than three defective power banks. So we need to redefine it again because now it's in a large container already. Yeah. So uh, let's say A. A will be equals to the number of defective power banks. Okay. Number of defects in large container. Yeah. The reason why they tell us large uh, is because, right, The prop the reason why they tell us large is because they want you us to assume as a normal distribution. Okay. Yeah. They want us to define as normal distribution. So we need to we need A to be follow a normal distribution expectation of uh expectation of A and variance of A. Okay. So expect expectation of A will be n times the probability of having a defect, which is p is 0 0.08, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the probability of a power, of power bank being defective is 0 0.08. So for variance of a will be n times 0 0.08 times 0, point, times 0 0.02. Because, oh, variance, zero. because variance of x follow this formula, n p, 1 minus p. Oh. It's 0 0.8 times 0. Point, sorry. 0 0.8 times 0 0.2. What am I writing? I'm so sorry. Huh? Why 0 0.8? It's sorry. 0. Point, oh my god. It's correct. Yeah, it's correct. It's correct. 0 0.8 0 0.92. Yeah. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah. So from here, they we have to reconstruct this into probability of A, no fewer. No fewer than three means is greater or equals to three. No fewer than three means greater than three only. Right? It is not lesser than three. Here we are. Not lesser. Means more than three. Yeah, yeah. means more than three. 
Yeah. It correct or not? Correct, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's less than or equals to zero. Yeah. It's less than or, or equals. Oh no, it's less than zero. Less than, than zero point nine. Wait, so I I I do inverse huh? Uh, you have to standardize first because now we we do not know. You have to standardize first, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just I just do the shortcut lah. Can. Okay. You standardize ready, then you do inverse. You inverse ready, then you use the overflowing concept. Oh, I use the overflowing concept. Yeah. So 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 the step is like that ah. Uh. So because I don't I don't understand your photo. Uh, okay. Uh, can you can you just do the overflowing concept? Like for me, I I, I yeah. just I, I draw for you, then you tell me whether it's correct. Because okay. I want to clarify that concept also. Okay. So like this is I draw here. Okay. So like this thing, right? So this is the this is zero. Then like since since over here they write a is more than three, means I need to start from the right and go to the left. And then since it's zero point nine, means it will be somewhere here already. Correct. Yeah, and then since it's less than since it's less than 0 0.9 means I forget this part since it's less than yes. 0 0.9 so so at this at this point right, let's say I have this value called b right yeah. this b is the is the is the, is the value yeah. yeah we are, we want it to be lesser than so it must be here yeah so it must so so your calculated value must be yeah. lesser must be lesser than b. yeah oh. correct so it must be so it must be greater than b, lesser than 0 0.9 means greater 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 why greater because we, Less we want, negative we want value. it to be have lesser area. So you have to push it the right. Less negative value. Uh. Yeah, less negative, you're right. So it has to be greater than B. Uh. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. I understand it. Can I? Uh? Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, you don't understand, I can send you the video. Okay, thank you so much. Can you send me right. the video? Yes, for sure. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Right.